Circles Notes Parts of a Circle A circle is formed by all points that are equidistant or the same distance from a given center. The radius is a line segment that has one endpoint at the center and the other endpoint on the circle. Here are some examples. You start from the center O and go out to E and it ends on the circle. That line segment OE is a radius. Also OD is a radius. Line segment OA is a radius and line segment OC is a radius. A diameter is a line segment that passes through the center and has both endpoints on the circle. For example, A and D are a line segment that pass through the center and each point A and D are on the circle. So line segment AD is a diameter. The radius is half of the length of the diameter or you could think of it as the diameter is twice as long as the radius. Find the missing length. In letter A, you're given a radius of four inches, so the diameter will be twice as much as that. So the diameter would be eight inches. In letter B, you're given a diameter of 13 meters, and the radius is half of that, so the radius would be 6.5 meters. A chord is a line segment with both endpoints on the circle. A chord does not have to pass through the center, although it can. It could be the radius line segment AD, but it also could be this chord AB, the segment AB. Remember that there are 360 degrees in a circle. A semicircle is half of a circle. It is 180 degrees. The semicircle could be A, E, D, or it could be A, B, D, or it could be A, C, D. All three are points that are in that semicircle. Use the circle to calculate the area and circumference using all three methods. Your formulas are the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, or pi times r squared. For circumference, you would multiply 2 times pi times the radius, or r. 2 times pi times r. In the picture, you will see that there is a circle with a radius of 4 meters. For method 1, you would use 3.14 for pi. So for area, write your formula a equals pi times r squared. Now you could fill it in. Area equals 3.14 times the radius, which is 4, squared. Now remember that squared means that it is the number times itself, not times 2. So your area would be 3.14 times 4 times 4, which is 16. When you multiply those together, you get 50.24 meters squared. Remember it's area, so it will be squared. Now for circumference, remember that your formula is 2 times pi times the radius. So plug it in. 2 times 3.14 times 4. you would get 25.12 meters. Now look at method two. You're gonna use 22 sevenths or 22 over seven for pi. First do area. Area equals pi times r squared. So area will equal 22 sevenths times four squared or it will equal 22 sevenths times 16 because four times four is 16. Your answer for area then is 50 and two sevenths meters squared. Remember that area is squared. For circumference, you're using the formula two times pi times r. 
So plug it in. 2 times 22 sevenths times 4. Your circumference would be 25 and 1 seventh meter. Remember that circumference is just one dimension. For method three, you're just going to use pi in your answer. So again, area is pi times r squared. Plug it in and you get area is pi times four squared. So area will be 16 pi meters squared. For circumference, your formula is 2 times pi times 4. So your circumference is 8, which is 2 times 4, pi meters.